welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be going through some goodies I got. Um, I've been collecting a few art supplies here and there and now that I have quite a few I want to go over them, unbox them, really look into them with you guys and yeah just looking into what I got. First up we have the Strathmore watercolor sketchbook. I decided to go with this sketchbook because I want to start oil painting. I wanted to start off with the sketchbook so I could practice, learn the medium and everything Thing without using a lot of expensive materials so I, I prefer a sketchbook to practice it. and the idea is for me to paint on only one of the sides of the paper so this sketchbook as you can see is kind of roughed up it came really roughed up in the mail I got it from Amazon it's really roughed up even in the back it came dirty it's a little banged up and it's ripped here and it's ripped also in the back this came like this so it looks kind of bad, but otherwise the paper is still good. The first page is a bit dented, as you can see here, but other than that, it's pretty fine. And we have this really nice thick paper. I think it's gonna be great for what I want. It's also portrait, so I really like it a lot. Next up, I got this oil paint set. Now this is a really cheap set, but I have some old oil paints that I used like once in high school and not even the right way of using oil paints. And so I kind of found this while grocery shopping. I know it's not the best quality oils, but I just decided, well, why not? Before I start investing in real oil painting, oil paint that are expensive, let me just try it out with this inexpensive kit and see if I can work with it. There's a lot of inexpensive kits that are good enough. So maybe with oils, I'll be able to do that. I will learn from it. I'll definitely figure out if this is something doable or not. But I want to get into this because I haven't looked into it too much. I did rip out the stickers, but I haven't like, you know, kind of took my time looking into these paints. So let's get into them. So the cover comes out and you have some instructions, I guess. And then you here you have the colors. Now this is amazing, it's a beautiful range. Um, I see a lot of colors that I really want to paint with. I see really vibrant, colorful colors, which is what I wanted. I wanted to start oil painting, but with really vibrant colors, not just the yellow ochres and you know, whatever is right? I want to make really colorful paintings with oil paints. And I think this is a pretty nice set. The tubes are really soft and squishy. Um, they're plasticky, not metal. And you have the colors and the milliliters and everything that you need to know about the color. And when we open them up, they are sealed apparently, yes. Okay, moving along. With those colors, I decided to get a few more. So I got titanium white because white is one of the colors that usually goes out really, really quickly. I got some black. I was trying to remove these price tags because I don't want them to stay in the tubes, but they're here to stay apparently. But I got some black, same thing as the white. It's a color that kind of gets used up a lot. So I got the black as well. So another color I end up using a lot is red and I wanted to go ahead and buy red up front. I use this a lot. Red is usually the first thing to go out, whether it's pen, pencil, watercolor, gouache, whatever it is, red is usually the first color to go. So I wanted to get more red because of that. I also decided to grab some Viridian Green because this is a color that's really hard to make for me. I don't know why. So I saw it and I was like, yes, I'm going to take it with me because it's a hard color to make for me. So I wanted to bring these four colors with me. Um, these are really cheap. Again, really cheap paints. Um, I got them at a dollar store and they're just good for now and I'll use them for now. Since we're going into oil painting, I decided to get some linseed oil. Okay. I don't plan on using a lot of solvents in my paintings but i do want it to be chemical free i don't want them to be toxic in any way so i decided to get linseed oil and just try it out a little bit my idea is to use just a little drop of this not too much um because i want to paint with pure oil paints i don't want them to be super diluted um unless that's the effect i'm going for so i got a little bit of linseed oil. Kind of in the same packaging as the linseed oil, we have varnish for oil paints. Now, I don't know how this is going to work. I don't know how this is going to look, but I'm going to try it out either way. This was just me testing everything out. Again, price tags, and I really would love to not have a price tag in this. Both of these are also very inexpensive mediums. Again, I'm not investing a lot of money into this because I didn't have that much money to invest, but 
I do want to give oil painting a try, so I'm going the cheaper route. Again, with oil paints, I have this little palette. Um, I'm thinking of using it as an actual palette for the paints, just have like an, a very individual palette. Um, I don't wanna be throwing out palettes all the time, but I'm still gonna research a little bit more to see if this is something that's viable. But I also have old like frame glass that I can use as a palette as well, but I also bought this one because I thought this would be cool to have as a palette. If I don't end up using it as a palette, I might use it to paint something on it. So if you guys would like to see me paint something on a paint palette, you know, I could do like a design or something, let me know. Lastly, but definitely not least, we have a polymer clay set. So this is a polymer clay from Magic Fly, as we can see here. This has 45 colors in it. So all of these beautiful, beautiful colors, plus some tools supposedly, but we're going to open it up and see what's inside because I haven't opened it because it just arrived. So let's dig in. Okay, so this pulls out a little pamphlet, polymer clay. Now we have here are the tools. We have weird looking tools. Um, I have no idea what these are all for. This is also something new that I want to try. So have a bunch of tools. We have some bracelets that we could make something to put on here. Different kind of bracelet that opens. We have some stuff to make necklaces with. And here we have the beads and the earrings and all of the small little things. And here we have the clay. So I honestly uh, thought this was gonna be a lot bigger than it is. These are very, very tiny, tiny clays. But to start off, I think it's still pretty good. I also wanna start off by doing smaller things. So yeah, there's a lot of clay in here. This is stacked full of clay. These are all really low quality, so don't expect too much of them. But I did see a YouTuber I follow use these and they really liked them. And so I was like, oh, well, it's a cheaper option for me to try out since I don't, I'm new to this. But yeah, it looks like a really nice set and I think it'll be really interesting too it out so this was all i went through um i hope you guys enjoyed this video it's just a little art haul i really like seeing what other people get i was obviously in a budget but i really like everything and i'm dying to try everything out i really want to try this paper because i've never tried Strathmore watercolor paper and i really want to try out oil painting i'm i'm really dying to try everything out and hopefully i'll do so in the next few videos so stay tuned for that anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this video um i am really excited to try out everything that's in here um, these are two different mediums that I've been really dying to try, clay and oils, and I'm hoping to make a few creations with palm polymer clay, maybe some cute little figurines, some earrings, stuff like that that I've been seeing all over social media and I'm really inspired by. Um, and I really wanted to try oil painting for real. I did it once in high school, but it was a complete bust. I was using it as if it were acrylic paint and it has nothing to do with it. So this time around, I want to give it a real try and prep the paper correctly, do everything correctly. And hopefully, you know, I'll enjoy it. Um, but I'm really dying to try out oil painting. Hopefully I'll be able to give them a try um, in time for the next few videos. And you guys will see me experiment a little bit with all of these new things if you guys enjoyed this video let me know um if you want to see any specific videos also let me know what you want to see if you like this video please give it a thumbs up it really motivates me to keep going and if you liked what you saw and you're still not subscribed please consider subscribing and i'll see you guys in the next video